Oh yeah. Right, here's the update now. Uh, first episode of Love's Great Adventure, and this is Help. Right, that's the set off. Okay, I'm just going to do this quickly. Here's the score. I've been always wanting to get back to Thailand to see my daughter, help some animals and start a new life. A month ago that looked almost impossible. So I looked at other options. I had an option of Brazil, a friend there, Rio, uh, Mexico, uh, Tulum, and another place, uh, Cancun, the tourist place, where I've been offered free accommodation in a house with my son and dog to help some animals. So that was all looking good. And, um, and also was had an option of uh, going on a galleon across the Atlantic Ocean to spend the winter in the Caribbean. Now, well, about that, not bad, hey? But so it was always Thailand, but I'd given up. But at the last minute, I've been given hope by the embassy that I can go in and Joe can get an educational visa because he has a place in, a, in an international school on Gotlanta. And I can fly with him as his parent. Uh, the only hiccup there is that Alfie can't fly with Thai uh, Inter, so he will have to fly at a later date, which is going to have to happen anyway, because once we arrive in Thailand, we have to do 14 days quarantine in a government-approved hotel, which will cost us about two, between two and 2000 and 2500 for 14 days. We're locked up. We can't mix with anyone. So it's not that simple and healthy you'll have to fly after the quarantine. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've got just under, I think, what is it? £3,904. So thank you very much. Of course, fees will come off that. And to be realistic, I think to get me and Joe there and to have a little bit of emergency money, it's going to cost, we're going to need about £6,000. You know, it seems a lot, and it is. We could have done it, me and Joe, before the coronavirus, uh, maybe £1,500. Look at, look at the difference, eh? Thailand, all the borders are closed, and there are no international flights, only repatriation flights, and a flight for non thais who are going to school, uh, returning to school, or starting school, and teachers, and that's what we can get. We've been told to apply for visas tomorrow. So if you look at how much it's going to cost, it's going to cost as £800 each for the seats, so that's 1600 two to two and a half grand for the hotel, mandatory insurance, uh, up to covering each of us for $100,000, uh, train from Blackpool to London, taxi to the train station, taxi to Heathrow, and all other incidentals that might crop up. So by the, and also, after we finish the quarantine, get in to the school and the, at the island, and that's going to take, uh, well, it's uh, six hours, oh, more than that, isn't it, really? Maybe nine hours by car. It's in, right in the south. And Alfie, getting Alfie there is... Uh, not so easy, but I've got a, about from Blackpool, from Blackpool to Bangkok, it's going to cost about 1500 And I'm hoping that it's going to be about another 500 to get him in. But I'm just waiting for confirmation on that. So that's two grand for Alfie. So taking everything into account, getting from Blackpool, me, me lad Alfie, plus we got 100 quid for the visas, me... And any other things that Alfie may need, it's going to cost us 8000 Whereas we could have probably done it two, three and a half thousand before the coronavirus. So, we're going for it. Uh, if we, and so really we need to get about 6000 to get me and Joe, Joe there. And then we can focus on Alfie for the next three weeks and make sure we can get him there. Uh, luckily, Joe has a free place in the international school, and the school will give us 
somewhere to live while we sort a little house out. So uh, the target was 25,000. I think that's unreasonable. I think just to have enough to actually get us there and a, a bit of money in our pockets for the first couple of months and then I'll start making money. I'll be selling e-books, pushing my books, uh, writing articles for magazines, maybe doing a a video blog on, on a Patreon account. I'll do it somehow. I'll do an ebook every month out uh, and, pu and push that for that three, four, three, four, five quid, depending with loads of photographs. So I just need to get there and a bit to get sorted, and I, I, I'll do it. And of course, I'm going to help everybody get there if they want. And obviously, people who donate to the campaign, and it's just a fiver. Well, you're going to be getting loads of updates, loads of videos. And, Visa, how we get the visas, if we get the visas on the plane, where we're going, you know, you're going to get be getting an adventure. If we're locked up in a hotel, if we can't make Thailand, well, are we going on a boat across the ocean? Who knows? But do your best. I know some of you have already chipped in, and some of, chipped, of those have chipped in again. I don't want anybody to pay anything that's going to put them out of pocket. Only if you like the idea and you want to help us make this dream come true and of course the main focus will be helping animals and I've got in each of the countries I've got lots of animals to help love, peace, compassion hope you enjoyed this first episode ta very much Sid, Kid and Alfie